With the seventh pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Lowry Markkanen. <laughs> Welcome back to another Euro NBA video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about top five reasons why Lori Markkinen is going to become an all-star in the NBA. And yeah, I did get a haircut. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Tell me what you think about my haircut. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I kind of wanted them to take a little more off the top. But you know, it's whatever. It's, it's cool. But yeah, top five reasons why Lori Markkinen is going to become an NBA all-star. They are getting a fabulous spin who is the best shooting big man in the draft. He's got Alright, so the first reason is his height. How freaking tall he is. He is currently seven feet tall and he's still growing. He's only twenty wait he turned twenty in like last month or something. So he's still growing. He's already seven foot seven feet tall and he's literally like He's just tall enough. So that means he's going to get the height advantage over smaller people half the time. Which means when he posts up other players, he's nine times out of ten going to have the height advantage. Unless he's like posting up another seven-footer. But that's there's not a lot of seven-footers. So nine times out of ten, he's going to be the, the taller person in the matchup. Also, um, also he, like, he could just finish over anybody because, you know, he's tall. So any... Like, shorter defenders will just, like, freaking have, be no match for him because, like, they're too short and stuff. So, he's just freaking tall, seven feet. You know, he could finish over everybody. He has the height advantage nine times out of ten. Yeah. So, that's reason number one. Let's get to reason number two. Terror. He averaged over a point per possession in 11 different offensive categories. All right. So, reason number two is um his shooting ability. Let me just tell you something right quick. Um, he is shooting. Wait, let me check. He's shooting forty-two percent in in um, three-point percentage. Forty-two percent three-point percentage. Do you know? Do you realize how good that is? That is amazing. Also, he um, has good balance when he shoots. Um, he has good balance, and he has a um, he has a like he just a good shooter. He shoots. 42% from three, 54% just like two point shots, 83% from free throw line. He is one of the best shooters in the draft, if not the best shooter in this year's draft. But yeah, um, so yeah, he is an overall good shooter. He shot 42% in the three point percentage, 54 two point percentage. Yeah, and he just one of the best shooters. He, sh he is. Let me just say something. He made more three-point shooters than any seven-footer since 2001. So, he's like the best seven-foot shooter since 2000, pretty much. So, yeah, that is another reason why he... That is another reason why he can become an all-star. Uh, sorry for his blue screen. That is another reason why he can become an, an all-star in the NBA. So, yeah, that was reason number two. Let's get on to reason number three. And 1.2 points per possession and pick and pop. That is outstanding. He's very skilled. Alright, so reason number three is um, he has good agility. Um, most of the time, if you if there's a 7-footer in the NBA, he's 9 times out of 10 not going to be have good agility. But Laurie Markkinen, I'm here to tell you, has good agility as a 7-footer. He has good footwork off screens. He can drive with good agility. He get past defenders like with good agility. Um, he he has like he could pull up, which means he has like pulling up for a jumper means you have agility, and he has a size advantage, which means that he could just like spin over people, slide up over people, with relative ease because he has so much agility. And the main reason is so he's a seven footer. Obviously, he's gonna be setting screens and stuff. So. You don't want to. You don't want a big man that can't have proper footwork when they set screens, 
because then they will mess it up and then then just both of the people will defend the guard instead of the seven footer because the seven footer doesn't know footwork so you would just be like it would just be bad it would, it would be bad if, if a player doesn't have proper footwork for screens but Laurie Markkinen does have footwork and agility so yeah that is uh, another reason why he is going to be an, a freaking all-star in the league because most of the time when you see a big man there's like no agility uh, involved uh, you know they can't drive and stuff but yeah Laurie Markkinen is can can do both of those things and he's and other players are not gonna like be aware of that because it's a freaking seven footer so he could just freaking dominate all right so yeah that was uh number three i think yeah that was number three let's get on to number four he's not a shot blocker but he knocks free throws down at 83 percent one thing he's got to do is be very careful all right so um number four is uh he's a good finisher and you might be wondering like most of the time if you're a seven footer you can't freaking finish uh, at the rim and stuff but Laurie Markkinen can so um most of the time it's like he's at the three point line he pump six and then drives lays it up over all these people because he's taller than him and he has a good he could drive relatively good he um uh he like he could just get past most of the defenders with a spin move, maybe a little. I don't know. I don't know, but like maybe a little crossover. But I don't know. He doesn't really have like good crossover handles, but maybe he could. But yeah, he has. He can drive past players, which is surprising for a big man. And he also can um, uh, pump fake and drive. He can like spin move and drive. And, you know, nine times out of ten, he's going to beat a taller person and he can just finish, finish with relative ease. So, yeah, Laurie Markkinen is the GOAT. I was watching highlights of uh, his, like, games in college. Literally, he was driving past everybody. Like, if, it was, if he wasn't shooting a three and splashing it, he was freaking driving to the hoop and, like, like he, he's like a let, let, I don't know. This might be a, like, uh, this might be a stretch but I think he's like a less athletic Kevin Durant. Like, don't hate me for this. Like, obviously he's not like. Obviously he's not like, Dur like Durant, as in like he's not as fast as Durant and he's not as athletic as Durant. And yeah, that's pretty much all I don't know. But yeah, I think besides athleticism and speed, he's like Durant. So yeah, that was number four. Let's get on to the fifth reason why he's going to become an NBA All-Star in the future years. Here, that's the most by a seven-footer in 20 years. That quick release makes it really hard to deal with. All right, so number five is um, his release, his uh, jump shot release. So, obviously, there's a reason why he's shooting kick. 54% from the field and 42 from three and and stuff like that It's because his shot release and shot form is perfect. So he has one of the quickest releases. I've ever seen and Wait, can you guys think of an uh, NBA player that has a quick release? I'll, I'll give you a minute Yes, you're right The only people that have good the only people that have fast releases in the NBA are good shooters, knocked on shooters who are all stars. Like Steph Curry has a quick release, Kevin Durant has a quick, quick release, Kyle Cover has kind of a quick release, and Clay Thompson has a quick release. And all those players know how to shoot, and they're pretty much all all stars except for Kyle Cover. But Kyle Cover, he used to be an all star. He used to be a knocked on shooter, which was really good. So he was like useful on the team. So yeah. Laurie Markkinen's release is really quick, so you so most of so you can't block him because his release is quick. Also, he's freaking seven feet, so you can't block him because he's seven a seven footer with a quick release. Oh my god, how do you guys think he's gonna become bad? How I still don't know how. Be, oh my god, literally. Okay, so I was watching this video. Um, it was 
it was like just a, the clip from ESPN. No, it was just the clip of when Laurie Markkinen became uh, a bull. So like when he got his name called in the draft, it was just like that. Like like just some guy just like took the clip from uh, the freaking TV and then freaking uploaded it. And then the video was just Adam Silver coming out onto the freaking podium and saying, oh, number seven pick Laurie Markkinen, Timberwolves and that. Larry Marketing and then Larry Marketing gets up, goes there, hugs freaking I mean handshakes Adam Silver and then like takes his picture and then yeah, that was just a video. Like they just took it off the TV. And literally this guy doesn't have a lot of subscribers, he only has like fifteen thousand. Well I mean I don't even have a lot, so I don't know why. I don't know why I'm saying like he does he has like compared to me he has freaking loads of subscribers but like compared to other youtubers he has a little so he had 15,000 subscribers and he, the video at the time only had like 200 views or something like that and it only had 15 comments oh my god 50 all like pretty much all 15 comments were hating on him like oh my god literally all one of the comments said end me now one of the comments said I'm no longer a Bulls fan one of the comments said um, the Bulls got fleeced or whatever, got robbed. Um, uh, another comment said, uh, like, just like, I'm not a Bulls fan. Uh, the Bulls are retarded. Uh, I hate the Bulls. And then literally, oh my god, I still can't believe it. it was, this one was actually kind of funny, but like, still it was messed up. Um, he was like, he was like, bro, get this, not, get this, um, wait. Uh, I forgot what the, I forgot word for word what the comment said, but it was something like, "Bro, get this trash version of Chris Steps Porzingis or like knockoff Chris Steps Porzingis or something like that." And then I was just I was just like, "Oh my god, what the f?" Literally, I'm gonna go back at at the end of next season when Laurie Markkinen is like in the running for Rookie of the Year and one of the best rookies, averaging 15 points per game at the end of the season. I'm gonna go back to that video. Reply to that guy who said he's a knockoff Chris Steps Porzingis. I'm gonna reply saying you are retarded. He's better than Porzingis. That's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, um, uh, yeah. I just still can't believe. Like, how do you not? How do people still believe that he's gonna not be good in the NBA? Oh my! I he's gonna be the greatest. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, there there is a slight chance he be, he might become a bust. But I think he's going to become an all-star. And all, for all those people saying he's not going to become an all-star and that he's trash, just wait till he becomes an all-star. And then you're going to be looking retarded and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to be looking at the smart guy because I predicted him becoming an all-star. When, so when he becomes an all-star, everybody's going to be like, oh, shoot, you, you were right. He did become an all-star. I'm going to be like, or, I mean, I, I knew he was going to become an all-star. What, why you, why are you saying, like, oh, my God, you predicted it. Like, obviously, I did predict it, because, like, if it's going to happen, that he's, he is going to become an all-star. Like, what the f... But, yeah, um... Uh, that was all five reasons why Laurie Markkinen is going to become the greatest of all time. Better than Kobe Shaq. Jordan. But, like, he's going to become one of the greatest. I already know. If not the greatest, then he's going to... I think he's going to be better than Porzingis. Uh, okay, I don't know. You can hate me if you want. But... Um... I don't know. I, those are just my top five reasons why... Uh, Laurie Markkinen is going to be a good... All, yeah, these are just my top five reasons why Laurie Markkinen is going to be an all-star in the league. So, yeah. Uh, let me just run... Let me just, uh, like, say it all, all five again, if you kiss you, like, I don't know. So, number one was uh, was height. Number two was shooting. Number three was agility. Number four was, wait, which one did I put first? Uh, I think, wait. Number four was, no, quick release was, number five was quick release. And number four was, um, uh, what's it called? Dang, I forgot. Wait, hold up. 
all these beats that just went through hit him, and then hit him. All right, so number one was um, height. Number two was shooting. Number three was a drill water. Number four was. Oh, I forgot. He just has so much going for him that I just. Alright, so, um, yeah, that's gonna be all for the video. Um, Laurie Markkinen is gonna become the greatest of all time, you know, because he has, he has height, he has shooting, he has a quick release, he has, um, what's it called, agility, and one other one that I forgot, but that's irrelevant because those four are just good enough to make you an all-star. But yeah, that's gonna be all for the video, hopefully you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you next time.